Hello everyone! I am Alderblade and welcome to my wonderland. Today we have a bit of a change, I haven't done one of these for a while. And it is a figure review of this gorgeous Madokan Homura Sphere Set! Ah! I bought this off a proxy service last year and I haven't had a space to open it and place it until now. So without further ado, let's crack it open! So this figure set, I'm pretty sure you can't get the characters separately, you can only get them in this set. And it is the Minoka Magica, I believe this is released from the film version where they released the series as a two-part film with Akime Homura and Kaname Madoka, one seventh scale, with Amakumi as manufacturer and Hobby Japan as the distributor. And it was released in 2017 as limited exclusive for 15,000 yen. I remember I roughly spent 150 AUD dollars on this, which it was pretty keen, like it was pre-owned from proxy site, but I cannot for the life of me remember the postage, but I would assume I would have had to pay over $100. And let's have a look at the box, considering it's pre-owned, the box is in pretty good condition, and I love the box art. On the front you have a portrait of them both, the clothes zoomed in, and it's quite simple and pastel, suiting the theme which is quite gorgeous. It, it seems like a simple figure, but I'm keen to see the details. See, the, the eye will be in the details here. I love pastel colours and Madoka Magica, I think, does vibrant array of, like, the rainbow in the way. Come on, hurry up, I want to get this out. <laughs> Now then, just pulling them out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank God that wasn't the bigger side. I think it's just the extra bases. If that was the bigger side, I think I would have had a heart attack and you would have a delay video for this week. Now then, looking at the thing that just slid off my desk onto the floor, and it is the bases. Now, I wasn't originally going to crack them open, but I thought I might as well show considering this is a review video. Now I will not be displaying them separately but it is nice to know that you have an option. The bases have their displayed names and this beautiful pearlescent sheen to them and they're quite simplistic which in this case I quite like that idea. I think it suits the theme well and considering they have white dresses you don't want anything taking away from that. I don't think. But let me have a close look I may change my opinion. Pulling out the base, and oh well, it's it looks like kind of a cake topper. I won't lie, this this figure being one seventh scale is a lot bigger than I thought, and a little bit dusty, but otherwise pretty good condition. I couldn't tell from this angle, but you can actually from the instructions, which I had a close look later, you can actually take the top off. Now, who to pull out first? Oh, of course it has to be my favourite character, Homura! Super keen to get a look at her first. Sorry, Madoka, you're gorgeous you. And look at her just sitting on my hand there. Oh, wow. She is just breathtaking. Look at the folds and just having a closer look at the sculpture of her hands. Look how clean and smooth the work is. I cannot see any faults at all or criticisms. Like, can you see a seam? Like, the seams are non-existent. Maybe, okay, the hair, but that is pretty tightly done. Now, I was going to bring Madoka out and have a look, but I thought, oh, I don't have any place to rest them and I don't want to rest them just on the bench, so I took it apart until I get their chairs ready. Now, using the double base, I thought I'd put the chairs on. And the chairs, may I say, for a simple mini furniture item, both look very nicely done. They're white and they actually have a grey shading on them which brings out a little detail and also dimension just opposed to just having a blank colour which I really appreciate. And I just can't get over the pearlescent look of the base, it is so shimmery! Ah. <laughs> They're very secure, now then let's get... I decided to put Homura on first because she's got the hair that kind of wraps around Madoka which I thought was a lovely touch and just slipping her foot in there she just clicks in. I really thought this was going to be a lot harder but she slipped in reasonably easily so just getting the light there so you can have a better look, a better look at where I slipped in the peg. Now then having a look 
at the protagonist herself, Madoka. And her hands, I love their sculpted hands. The pose is so gorgeous. And her different dress and shoes. Oh, stunning. I love how both dresses kind of reminiscent of both their personalities. And it just brings that out. Oh, and the typical, just the part, sculpted part on the back of her hair is a beautiful touch. Can't see any flaws there. Now, getting Madoka on took a bit more fiddling around. Like, I got her on, but I'm like, surely I can get her on better than that. See, there's me pushing her down there. But where the peg pins in from her foot, she doesn't sit flush on the base. So even though her knees are kind of, so it's like she's sitting on the front of her thighs, is touching the chair, her bottom doesn't actually sit on the chair properly, which I guess as long as I'm not looking at the back, I'm, I'm kind of fine with. I mean, I wouldn't sit like that. It's really uncomfortable. It's a doable, uncomfortable. But that probably is the only criticism I would have. Now then with these two girls sitting on their stand, I will move on to a showcase and then we can have a look at my review and final thoughts of the figure. Sculpting. Now I have to say for a simple sit down pose there is so much movement in this work and it looks breathtaking. They look like they're sitting in the breeze. It's reminiscent of both the opening of the Madoka Magica movie not to mention the ending where Madoka and Homura in that version have star-like shimmery dresses that are in the same sort of shapes and then on top of that we have the opening of the movie Rebellion and that also features Homura wearing her dress and them sitting on these chairs. Oh my goodness. And, and then near the end of that film, you have them both kind of more mature grown up and they're both wearing dresses and that reminds me again both of these two dresses, which for me makes it quite an emotional, meaningful presence, which it just creates perfectly the dress folds the waves how they have their feet posed how they're sitting their posture the expression in their hands alone is just so beautiful and their hair of course and that nice touch of homer's hair kind of like hugging the back there <laughs> i have to give this sculpt 10 out of 10. it is just breathtaking painting yes it is quite a pastel, plain white paint work. But for the design, I think they've executed this very on point. I love that everything has a pearlescent feel to it, such as the dresses. And you got that contrasted by the matte skin tones, which are beautifully blushed. And then you have shading, such as added to the chairs and to the dresses as well. A little bit of, a little bit of pink shading on Madoka's dress and vice versa bit of purple blue shading on Homer's dress. Their eye decals are on point and their hair colours just pop. It honestly complements the sculpt harmoniously. 10 out of 10. And no paint flaws. Pose, I feel like I've already covered this in sculpting, but the pose is just so 
poetically divine. Need I say more? 10 out of 10. Base. Yes, it is simple, it looks like a cake topper. Maybe, I'm not sure I like the idea of the feet, such beautifully sculpted and painted feet having such high pegs holding them up. I would have preferred for them to have pegs on there where their seat is, so you wouldn't have to have that block going in between the chair. But apart from that, I love the simplistic base design and I love you can either have them separately on their own separate bases or you can have them on this big one which brings them up and I think is absolutely stunning with the title. 9 out of 10. Box, sturdy cardboard with a beautiful print and design on every side, you get a good idea with what figure you are getting even if it isn't a window and matches the colours on tune with the figure. Not to mention that it protected it very well and even though this has been pre-owned I've had no paint transfers and the figure isn't broken at all so I'll have to give it a 10 out of 10. Here they are with Madoka Magica Akime Homura SQ White One Piece version by Bam Presto. Also the matching Madoka to that Bam Presto set. 1 8 scale Homura figure by Good Smile Company. 1 8 scale Madoka by Good Smile. Also with the matching Madoka Nendoroid. And of course Homura Nendoroid by Good Smile. Also, if I can fit his big ass in there, is the 1 to 1 scale of Kube by Good Smile Company. My overall opinion, even though I'm pretty sure you already must know, I am absolutely taken by this figure. It is... I don't know what to say. It just gets me so emotional. It is so beautiful. Poetic. Oh my goodness, it gives me so much joy owning this figure set. And I initially did not know this existed. Okay, yes, I am still new to the fandom, but even then, but still looking at other collectors, the Doka collection, I don't see this figure pop up as much. I know it is exclusive, but I can still, if I search to buy this, I can still get one for a pretty good price, in my opinion, considering the absolute quality of this. And I don't think it is hyped up enough. This, for a simple, beautiful, pastel work of these two girls, with all the poetic symbolism you need, is absolutely stunning. I cannot recommend this figure enough. If you are as much as a fan of the series as I am, this stunning. I was tearing up while unboxing. I can't, I can't lie. I and then I just, you know, had the theme playing in the background, in my mind. Oh my goodness. Such a special figure. Thank you so much for sharing this with me today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing as much as I did. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I also enjoy talking to you all and answering any queries you may have. Until same time, same day next week. Stay safe, treat yourself, and I'll see you then. Bye!